Hi, senior economics students. It's Mr. Kellerman, and I'm giving you an update for week 12, our third week of distance learning. We are all out of our comfort zone, I would definitely say, in a lot of different ways. Some may be more minor, just about having to share space with your family or sharing devices or just getting a little cooped up. And many of you, you know, a lot more serious than that, a lot more uh, stressful. And I totally understand that um, your teachers are out of their comfort zone. I know you guys are. The key to all of us just uh, doing the best we can with it and overcoming it, I think, is, is being patient with each other and also just communicating um, things. So that's what I'm trying to do with these videos to communicate to you what I'm asking you to do. And I really ask you guys to communicate with me um, any trouble you're having, help that you need. Um, and many, most of you are, a few of you guys I still haven't heard too much from, and I just encourage you, it's never too late to start making up some missing work or, or just talk to me and we can, we can figure out a, a modification if, if you need something or you're having some trouble. Um, let's see, one bit of advice before I get into the nuts and bolts is, uh, just, this is an especially a time of, of, um, where self-discipline is, is really important. It's really hard without the structure of school, without the time of classes to, to sit down and you know make yourself do schoolwork sometimes. And I get it and I know that there are many legitimate challenges that, that we're facing. But um, I just really encourage you to do the best you can to, to show that self-discipline. I'm, I'm think I'm, you know, I think most of your teachers should be kind of reducing the amount of total work that we would normally do. Um, but we still are having school and, and, and maintaining that normalcy is important. But you gotta sometimes make yourself, despite the distractions, get some of this schoolwork done. Um, when you guys are not in high school, which is gonna be pretty soon, um, whether you're at you know College of Marin, whether you're at a four-year school, whether you're working, whatever you're up to, you're gonna have to show that self-discipline. You're gonna have less people keeping tabs on you all the time. And if you don't follow through on your commitments, um, you know, you're going to have to deal with the ramifications of that. So this is kind of an unfortunate early uh, lesson in, in having to be self-disciplined. But again, what I'm asking for for you guys is, is effort and communication with me. Speaking about effort, if you are missing assignments, the first step would be to go to home access, look at uh, how you're doing in class. If you're missing things, don't be overwhelmed. Just one little step, keep making up some work, do partial, ask for help talk to me, but effort and communication is what I'm looking at. Um, I see a couple nuts and bolts this week. Um, I'm posting it all on the website on these, and I'm only asking us to do one assignment this week, assignment 15 about monetary policy. It's kind of a little bit of a tricky subject, so I encourage you to really carefully watch the videos linked in the slideshow. And I'm going to hold two Zoom meetings, uh, kind of office hours, question and answer opportunity. I'm going to do that when normally uh, fourth period and third period would be meeting on Tuesday and Wednesday from 11 to 12. So I'll just be, I, the Zoom links are in the are on the website and I'll send them to you in an email. But if you have questions about how to do assignment 15 or any other things that you, in economics, you can check in for five minutes for the whole hour or whatever and ask me questions and I'll be available. Um, if you feel uncomfortable with that or can't make that time, you can you can email me. I could do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting with you or just answer questions for you. Just communicate with me. Um, so I'm asking you to do assignment 15 using the slideshow by the end of the week. And speaking about that, how to do the assignments, it, I'm very flexible. You, if you have access to a printer, you can print the assignment and look at the slideshow, handwrite it, take a picture. That's great. Many of you have done that. You can look at the slideshow and handwrite your answers on a piece of paper. You don't have to copy down the questions. Just write the, your answers and take a picture of that. You could type and share it on Google Docs. Um, you let me know if you're having trouble figuring out the format for how to do your work. Uh, again, communicate with me, but handwritten, typed, any of that is, is good. Um, we are again doing this unit on macroeconomics, the government's involvement in the economy and the government is involving itself in the economy a lot these days and trying a lot of things. So it actually dovetails well with the content of what we're learning. Anyway, after break this week, we have this last week of school, then we'll have a week off. And then after break, we're going to, uh, continue this unit and we're going to do a project, uh, about the current events that we're seeing un unfolding with the economic impacts of the virus. And um, we will eventually have an open note test on um, macroeconomics of uh, this unit. I'll talk more about that again after break. Uh, hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, email me your questions. Maybe I'll see some of you guys at that Zoom meeting this week. Thanks a lot.